Hello and welcome to this quick presentation on diagnosing misalignment. My name is Jason Tranter, the Founder and Managing Director of Mobius Institute. Mobius Institute provides vibration training and accredited certification. First we have to quickly understand what misalignment is. Shafts are misaligned when their rotational center lines are not collinear when the machines are operating under normal conditions. And a couple of the important points about that is, you know, when a machine is cold and you do an alignment, it's possible that it'll go out of alignment when the machine is running, particularly if one or both components uh, increases or greatly decreases in temperature. So we want the two shafts to be collinear, perfectly in line when they're rotating. Um, shaft alignment is extremely important. Bearings, seals, shafts and couplings will fail prematurely if shafts are not precision aligned. Unless we take special precautions, the shafts will not be collinear. There will be angular and offset misalignment, and that misalignment will exist in the vertical and horizontal direction. Think of it as a 3D issue, you know, how it's exactly what the ang where the angles are and where the offset exists. So in this simulated animation we've got the two shafts uh, offset aligned so we've aligned them but dramatically left them offset and you can see the motion there but of course if we bolted the feet down you can imagine the stresses on all those components and if we have angular misalignment you know we've closed that gap by attaching the uh, the couplings and now we've put stress on all those components again so what do we see now we can see high 1x vibration and we can see high 2x vibration. It's very common in vibration charts and so on to just focus on 2x. You may see high 2x vibration. You may not. It's common to also see the 3x, 4x and 5x peak increase in amplitude. Even to the extent where you may be thinking it's uh, looseness, but looseness will generally have more harmonics, the noise floor might rise up and the phase relationships are very different. The other thing to consider is that in the case of misalignment, if we compare the the vertical and horizontal phase, there will not be a 90 degree relationship between the two as we would see with unbalance. So it's easy to confuse the two in certain circumstances, so that's one way to rule it out. Uh, we can also look at the phase difference uh, on components either side of the coupling and see if we see either the 180 degrees opposite in the vertical direction or in the axial direction. So, um, so the key is though to make sure you're not just looking for that 2x vibration and it's also important to note that we can have misalignment without the vibration changing in a characteristic way. Okay, so if there is angular or gap misalignment then we expect to see far more axial vibration particularly at 1x that's because we've got this gap and if you like it's a push me pull you situation and we'll therefore see the, the phase out of phase um, when the phase readings are corrected in that axial direction it's very important to understand though that the coupling type greatly affects the vibration that you will see. So whether it's a tire coupling, you know, or any you know, grid coupling, gear coupling, whichever type it is, a jaw coupling, they will generate vibration themselves potentially. And when there's any uh, small amount of misalignment that will exacerbate the vibration at certain frequencies. For example, a three-jaw coupling might create vibration at 3x, but that doesn't mean that's all you will see in the case of misalignment. So misalignment is a rather complicated uh, fault to diagnose. We can use time waveforms, we certainly should use phase and the spectrum is, is very good. So offset or parallel misalignment will generate higher radial vibration at sort of the vertical and horizontal. The 2x peak may be elevated as in it might go up in amplitude but it is important to also look at the 1x, 3x, 4x and 5x peaks. Gap or angular misalignment will generate higher axial vibration at the running speed 1x. 
misalignment may exist even if it is not evident in the spectrum. So just because you're not seeing a lot of the symptoms of misalignment in your spectrum, that does not mean that the machines are precision aligned and therefore that the bearings will fail more quickly than otherwise. And we should use phase to confirm that misalignment exists. Well, this is a quick introduction to diagnosing phase. I hope you've found it useful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.